Can we shift it again? Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. You set it up with a mobile app, so it means you can work it on any derailleur and any cassette. You just tell it how many gears you have and you program each individual shift point and you're good to go. Start over, seasonal friend. I'm always your friend. I say this every time, you call me your seasonal friend. I'm always your friend. <laughs> I love that your friendship has no bounds. That's right, man. Who's, win you. who's winning? Slalom. My heart's with Kyle. Okay. Straight acres all the way. But Ropo, I want it, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm your biggest fan. Get it. Now you're working on straights, bike. But who's your prediction for slalom winner? Man, it's gonna be a tough one this year. Everybody seems pretty riled up. I think Kyle and Mitch book have a, have a little rivalry going and getting each other's heads. So, yeah. well, I haven't seen Mitch recently, but he's he sounds good. Uh, he does. Uh, Nika's done an amazing job. Uh, and that's why we're pumped to keep uh, keep trying to develop that relationship with them and go back there for testing and try to maybe build like that. Hey, what's up? I'm Eric Porter, Magura team rider, and I want to show you some of the new stuff we have here at Sea Otter. So we have our four piston brakes, our two piston brakes, and then uh, the combo of that for the MT trail. And then the coolest part is that whichever brake you get, you can set it up however you want. So we have five different lever options, including the brand new Loic Bruni uh, World Champion lever. And uh, then we have 12 different colors, so you can match the color to your bike. We have three different uh, levels of friction for your brake pads, so you can set them up how grabby you want. Yeah, so you can really set up the feel, the power, and the look for your bike. So check it out at Magura.com. What is that, like a 300? Tell us a, tell us a secret to the new beep video coming out. Oh, uh, I would say my buddy Beep sent a huge beep from one beep to another beep. And how many beeps till we find till we see it? July, maybe. And uncensored, who's winning slalom? Well, Martin Mays isn't here, so Mitch might win. Sorry, Mitch. Here you guys. Are we taking a picture? <laughs> Yeti's newest creation is an SB130LR. So that stands for lunch ride. And this is exactly how many of Yeti's employees ride their bikes on the regular. What they've done is they've bumped up from 150 to 160 millimeter travel Fox factory grip to fork. And they also have a factory series rear shock. And on that rear shock, they've done something special where they've removed a spacer inside, allowing it to go from a 52.5 to a 55 millimeter stroke, and actually increasing the travel by an additional six millimeters. These changes combined add up to a 0.4 degree slacker head tube angle. It picks the bottom bracket up slightly from 337 to 341 millimeters. And they've also got it paired with SRAM code RSC disc brakes with a 200 millimeter rotor up front, 180 out back and 800 millimeter wide bars that you can cut down to preference. The lunch ride starts at $75.99 and with the carbon wheel upgrade you're looking at an additional $1,300. Who's, who's winning slalom? Uh, I'm not working with them anymore, but I have to. I got to put my money on Joey Foresta right now. Yeah. I didn't even look at. I didn't even look at anything. All I know is Joey's here, and we all know how that kid's got some power. And yeah, and because Maze Dog ain't here, you got to throw it to him. That's exactly what Ian just said. <laughs> New to the world of mountain bike shoes is a brand called Unparallel. They're also in the climbing world, and like we've seen before, brands that are in the climbing 
tend to have some very sticky rubber compounds. Unparalleled claims of the rubber used on their dust up flat shoes is actually stickier than 510's rubber that's currently on the market. It's a pretty bold claim, really curious to see if that holds up. We like the welded seams on the uppers for a nice clean look. Also new from Unparallel is their Uplink Clip Shoe. You'll notice that it has a very similar sole design to what we previously saw on Teva shoes. And that's because they're using the same tooling, but they've modified it along with the original designer, Chris Hillfire, to be improved. Uh, ways that they've done that is the cleats are a little bit further back. They also use a non-metal cleat mount, which means your cleats aren't gonna be spinning, uh, like was a common issue on the Tevas. And there's some additional flex in the toe area as well for easier walking around. The plate in the sole actually floats a bit, which gives a bit of added damping and the shoes are available in sizes 5 through 13. The dust-up flat goes for $149, the uplink clip sells for $169, and all shoes are available direct through Unparalleled's website. So, uh, normally I never get to have a bike or uh, <laughs> You guys just like hanging out taking pictures of each other? We do, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> And can you jump like, can you jump up like three or four at a time? Thanks. I was gonna, I was gonna stand on it. Um, you can have my angle shot. It's my best angle. Um, oh, dude, look. <laughs> Sorry. Go for it, Lars. Speak in the That's not an angle shot. <laughs> hey, I'm not wearing a skirt. You can't scare me. Whoa. <laughs> You're like nerdy and you don't want the interference. The interference slash five grand. Uh, rubble don't like the interference. I was like, yeah. I mean, something. So basically, and the pins only attach to the top of the pins. That's why the spacing is slightly different. So you move the hub plane to the middle. Alright, we're talking with the dual slalom winner. And you're a winner. <laughs> No, I'm calling it early. I'm calling oh, it dual slalom now. I don't, I don't know about that. I qualified seven, so I got some work to do. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah, how's Enduro? Uh, Enduro was good. Pinned it and uh, dig deep to get the win and got it. So really stoked with that. And uh, hopefully we got something left now for slalom. But, uh, we'll see. It's, it's always fun. So, you know, it's a fun event to add to a sea otter. Hey Vital, Sadie with Deity here. We're at Sea Otter again, 2019. I have all kinds of good stuff to show you. Um, we just launched our new 35 mil bore line of bars and stems. So I think we're gonna kind of start off here with our beautiful new carbon skywire. This is coming in, this is more of a trail rated bar. So you're gonna see this coming in a 15 and a 25 mil rise. Obviously a variety of color options. The bronze is the new addition to our lineup. Um, we're running that through the entire line. So, um, and the, those of you that are looking for something a little bit higher, we also have the Speedway, which is gonna be uh, our downhill rated version, more of an enduro bar. Um, <laughs> What's up, Vital? <laughs> this is actually gonna be a wider bar. So this is 810, I didn't tell you that's coming in an 800 mil width over there. And this is gonna be a 30 mil rise. So you're gonna feel one of the most important things to us with 35 mil was building in the properties that actually feel like our 318 line. So they're not super abusive and overly stiff. So this is gonna basically have the same rate of deflection as all of our 318 bars do. New day, the sun's out, you got any too short? What's my favorite word? Why you gotta say it like short? Can't hang with, the oh no, Boston, oh you got me, Spoon! <laughs> Here you'll see we've got our race point bars. This is going to be on the aluminum side, also rated as a DH, um, more enduro style bar. You're looking at the same 810 mil width on this, and these are going to come in both a 25 and a 38 mil rise. So we spent quite a bit of time, actually three years in development on these bars, building in our gradient budding technology so that we could put material where we needed it and not where we didn't so we could get a, a lighter bar that's going to compete with a lot of the other bars you're going to find out there, but still going to have a nice feel and not beat the crap out of you on the trail. So this is going to be our new ridge line. This is going to be a trail rated version, similar to the Skywire that we already looked at. And this is going to come in both a 15 and a 25 mil rise at an 800 mil width. 
um, similar technology built into them. The last thing that you're gonna see, which is fairly new for us, is more of a mid-range bar. So this is gonna be the top side. Um, this bar is actually retailing at $56.99, which is insane for the quality of bar that we're putting out. And this is gonna come in an option for uh, 25 mil rise. So the last piece of the puzzle for the 35 mil launch is obviously the stem. So those of you that are familiar with the Copperhead 31.8 version, a lot of people were asking, are we gonna do it in a 35 mil bore? So by popular demand, you're going to find a 35 mil bore version of the Copperhead. We have two length options, so a 35 mil length, a little confusing, 35, 35, and we also have a 50 mil length. They're machined out of a solid block of 60, 61 aluminum. There's a ton of detail in them, a really nice wide clamping platform in the front uh, for a stiff feel, and they're really the perfect counterpart to all of our 35 mil bore bars. Kirk McDowell's ride, looking fresh. <laughs> Custom linkage. I did the full the full business in here. Had all the work done. So now I get to walk around Sea Otter in a sling. What's the cool thing is I don't have to build the booth and I don't have to pick up anything heavy. So it's a win. So that's the secret to Sea Otter is get surgery a week before? That is the way. This is the new 3.0 Moto from Zip. Sold as a rim or a complete wheel belt option. It's a single wall rim design that took them three years to develop and they used 112 different laminates before they got everything how they wanted it. They are not shy to say that there might be lighter rims out there, but they went for ride quality, overweight, and reports are that it's a more damped feel. There's two to three millimeters of vertical compliance. Rim comes in 30 millimeter width only, and the recommended tire width on the rim is 2.4 to 2.6 inches. You can go a little wider or skinnier, but that's what they recommend. There are no non-boost options for the wheel sets, and they don't recommend building non-boost wheels unless you're a lightweight rider. It's a 32 hole only. They recommend a three cross build with 2.0 spokes and nothing smaller in gauge than 1.65. You can check your tire pressure via the Quark Tire Whiz using the Axis app. According to Zip, the compliance in the rim allows you to run lower pressures or even lighter tire casings without flattens. A lifetime warranty within intended use. If you break the rim or the wheel outside of the intended use, you can get crash replacement at a certain cost to be determined. If you could ask Seth one question, what would you ask him? I could ask Seth one question. How's drama? What's yours? Um, how's the collarbone? Nice. My name's Ethan, I work at Box Components. Uh, we've been making drive training components for about four years. Uh, we launched this on Thursday. Uh, this is our nine speed e mountain bike drivetrain. Uh, there's a couple unique features about this. Like I said, it's nine speed, 1150, um, over nine gears, uh, consistent jumps throughout the set, so it's real even. Uh, we use a nine speed platform uh, because it's really durable, uh, really robust. The adjustment window is really wide, so you don't have to worry about um, making sure it's super finely adjusted. Uh, stays in tune longer. Um, nine speed also allows for really good after sales support. You can find nine speed chains anywhere. Um, 50 tooth allows you to get and climb up those big wall hills. Um, this is our box one configuration, so it does have a fully adjustable, fully serviceable tri pack clutch, um, a machined textured shift lever, um, and then sealed bearings in the pulleys. Um, on unique to this shifter for the e mountain bike. Uh, it actually only allows you to shift uh, one at a time towards the low, and that is intentional so that, uh, you know, you set up on your email bike, you go shift two or three gears at a time and then pedal under load, you can grenade a brand new drivetrain, and this really kind of helps keep you from doing that. Uh, standard Shimano Freehub body, and um, this drivetrain here is 369, and then if you got rid of the adjustable clutch, 
put bushings in the penalties instead of the bearings, and then go to a composite lever. Uh, we have box two available at 269. Uh, this is our 11-speed drivetrain. This is a little bit more traditional. Um, we've had this one available for a little bit now. Um, similar features, uh, because it is box one, uh, this configuration is 1146. Uh, it's also available in 1150 with a slightly longer cage derailleur. Uh, still has tri-pack clutch, fully forged construction, um, and it is a lifetime warranty. You break it, we replace it. Um, this one is, you get five shifts up if you have a super long thumb. Um, and then single downs. Yeah, all available right now. This one's 369 for the 1150 or the 1146. And then our box two level is available in both configurations for 269. Free beer brings crowds at Specialized.